Hi guys, Liam here from IDS. Today we're going to be having a look at how to create custom tab and navigation bars. Uh, so we'll be using a image as opposed to the standard black tab bar. Okay, so what you're going to do, go ahead create a new Xcode document and you want to create a tabbed application. We're going to call it custom tab nav and this method will work on both the iPhone, iPad but for this tutorial we're just going to use the iPhone. Let's go ahead and press next and then create the project in the um, place you want to save it. I am using uh, the uh, developer preview of Xcode 4.5 so some things may be a little bit different uh, but the principles are exactly the same. Okay, so what we're going to do is go into our first view controller, dot M. Uh, you can rename these, but at the moment I won't. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to go into the view did load method. And we're going to start by saying, uh, by creating an image. Sorry. So we're going to go UI image. And we'll call it um, image tab bar. And then we say it's URI image, image named at quotation marks, bracket semicolon. Um, I've already got two images, uh, which I will put in the YouTube description. Um, however, if you want to make them, uh, it's fairly straightforward, as long as you choose the correct dimensions. All right, so I've added my files to the project. So the tab bar, I want to call graytabbar.png. Enter. Then I'm going to say, um, sorry. I'm going to say self.tabbarcontroller set sorry self dot tab bar control dot tab bar set background image and then we're going to call the image that we just made up here so it's image tab bar bracket semicolon and because the image is the background image is grey I'm going to tint the um tab bar um, so that we don't get a blue gloss effect we get a grey effect so I'm going to say self dot tab bar controller dot tab bar this may be slightly different because um, they've changed things around a bit with the iOS 6 um, but you want self dot tab bar controller dot tab bar dot selected image tint color equals UI color and I'm going to use light grey colour. Right, that's the tab bar done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and create a macro. You can do this in the app delegate, I think is the best, because then you can call it from everywhere. So we're going to define mac macro, uh, we'll call it custom tab bar. And then you just paste the code and put it all on one line. And then, if you import the app delegate into your .h file, it means that you'll be able to use the macro in the document. So now we can say custom tab bar. That will call all the code that we've just written. Um, so then, the beauty of this is we can just go into the second view controller, import app delegate again. And go to the view did load and call custom tab bar. Um, so say you have 20 different view controllers all with the same styling. Um, if you just want to change one aspect, you only have to change it once as opposed to changing it once and copying it 20 times. Um, so if we run that now, that should give us a custom tab bar.
and as you can see it's a custom tab bar uh, so we've got the grey backing um, next I'll show you quickly how to do this for the navigation bar so all I'm going to do is replace um, Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm just going to use a navigation controller and show you how to change this blue um, to the grey tab, the grey nav bar that we've just used. Um, I don't know why it's decided to give me a table view controller, but and then if I link these, all right. And then don't forget if you create a new um, object in the storyboard you have to link it to the class. So that's all linked up now. Okay, so we're gonna go back into our first view controller. And now we're gonna do the navig uh, nav bar styling. So we're gonna say um, We've got to call our image again. I call it image now bar equals UI image image named at quotation mark bracket semicolon. And this time I'm going to call gray now bar. I've noticed that the gray is spelled incorrectly, but never mind. Um, then I'm going to say self. It's pretty much the same method. Dot navigation controller this time. Then dot navigation bar. Set background image. Oh, sorry. Navigation bar. Set background image. Or image. Nav bar. Four bar metrics. UI bar metrics default. Bracket semicolon. And I'm going to say self dot navigation controller dot navigation bar dot tint color equals UI color dark gray color and then we can do the same thing again uh, create a macro but this time I'll call it uh, custom nav bar obviously Paste that, put it all onto one line so that the macro recognizes it as one, and then go back to the first view controller. And this time we can just call custom navbar. You'll notice as well it also looks a lot neater. So now if we run that, you will see that we have the uh, custom navigation bar. Okay guys, that's it for this tutorial. Um, I will put the project code and the two images I've used in the description. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.